Good morning, Patrick here from Complete Health in Eastbourne. And on my way to work, I always like to listen to some motivational videos or some topics and talks. And the video that I was listening to reminded me of a really nice saying that one of my old mentors or coaches used to use with me in the previous clinic I used to work, which is, is if you go through one traffic light, <clears throat> if you go through one traffic light, you don't go through the next six. Essentially, what this basically was in relation to is building good or bad behaviours. And he used to use this with his patients all the time in the sense of a patient had made a bad decision to do with something to do with their health. But because they'd done it once, then they did it again and again and again. And what happens in this situation is we lose all momentum and forward projection. And so for me, this is really, or the traffic light is really your level of self-discipline. And we can use a couple of examples. So say for example, this, this is the one that you most commonly see or some of the ones that you most commonly see. I didn't do my exercises Monday and as a result I kind of fell out of the pattern and I didn't do them for the rest of the week or me and my partner went out for dinner on Saturday and then we ended up having a cafe breakfast on Sunday and then we ended up going to McDonald's for lunch on Sunday and then we had a roast dinner with the family on Sunday. and so you've gone through one traffic light and so you give yourself permission to continue to keep going through traffic lights despite the fact that we should just stop at the first one because just imagine Imagine if we treated our health or our body or our decisions in the same way as we treat ourselves when we're driving on the road, majority of us would be significantly more successful when it comes to decision making. If we, as, as we see the warning as we approach it, as you do with the traffic light, as you see the warning, you're approaching the traffic light and you can see that the traffic light is red, what do you do? You stop. Now, God forbid what happens, what happens is if you do not stop at a traffic light. Well, if it's got a camera on the top, you get fined or you get points on your license. Now, the thing is, is if you go through a traffic light in life with a decision, so e.g. you decide to eat the takeaway or not to do your exercise or you decide not to show up for your seminar or your learning or whatever it is or your appointments for looking after your health, your body will become fined in exactly the same sense. So you go through a traffic light in real life, you will be fined or you will receive points on your license. If you do something with your health where you have a decision and you technically go through the red light, your body gets fined. If you don't do exercise, you're not going to raise that heart rate, improve your muscular tone, improve the strength, improve the posture, the stuff that we're trying to teach people to do. And people will say this to me all the time, like if you have patients that are coming in and they're paying this money with you, will they not just do the exercises? And the answer, unfortunately, is not always yes. Because I wish it was, because people have built these habits and these traits to teach themselves to specifically run the red light. But if you think about it in this sense, that every single time you run that red light, you're finding your body that little bit more and actually every single time you find that body, it's taking away from that finite amount of fines you can technically have because the body can only cope with a certain volume of stress before it can no longer take that stress and something has to go wrong and whether that's a specific injury or a disease or a dysfunction. So don't go through the traffic light. Think about your decisions before you make them. Think about, is this decision, if I don't exercise, is this going to find my body? If I eat this bad food six meals in a row, what's going to happen to my body? If I don't get up and do the workout in the morning, if I don't go to bed on time, how is this going to affect you long term? And if you keep going through those traffic lights, how much will your body get fined? Until tomorrow, guys, I will speak to you again soon. Stay disciplined, look after yourself, stay happy, healthy and well. Patrick here from Complete Health, here to help you do what we do best, which is take care of yourself. Take care.